ready to hear these practical solutions, and then perhaps they'll feel comfortable leading. But if the, if the, if the statistics, the polls are correct, and 70% of Republicans polled say that they do believe in climate change, mm -hmm. uh, but when it comes to the economics part of it and, and dealing with it that way, that that is where they draw the line. Right. So why aren't more members of Congress saying, like you did, yes, there is a climate change issue that we need to address, but the economic factors are, the, are, the, are really the sticking points here. Well, I think it's intensity determines the outcome of primaries especially, right? And so if you have people that are very intensely opposed to the other tribes' point of view on this, those are the folks who turn out in primaries, and I can tell you all about that, uh, having lost in June of 2010. But, um, uh, but, but there is yet this growing awareness, especially among millennials, that something has to be done. And um, I think there's also an awareness in my party, the Republican Party, that if we're going to win in 2016 and in some key Senate races in 2016, then we've got to figure out a way to attract those millennials. And do you believe that there are at least three of the declared Republican candidates for president who can carry out that message if they're elected? Yes, right? so we're grateful for Lindsey Graham, especially uh, my uh, senior senator from South Carolina who's uh, been very clear about climate change. We think that Jeb Bush may end up being clear on this. And we're looking forward to, uh, to Rand Paul perhaps saying that this is, of course, what libertarians believe, that you want to you fix this distortion in the marketplace. You want to put all the cost in on all the fuels and have the free enterprise system sorted out. So we think that he may even show uh, that libertarian strength in saying that this, of course, would work. It's a problem of economics that has an environmental consequence. You've alluded to your faith. Uh, you belong to a conservative Presbyterian congregation, and uh, recently uh, Pope Francis has said that he is going to make climate change uh, a major issue uh, in, in, in his, uh, his, his travels around the world. What do you think the role of religion is in climate change? Very important, and of course we're very excited about the encyclical that's coming out uh, this week uh, from the Pope, because I think that um, what it may cause is that uh, people of faith and goodwill around the world to address this as a moral issue. Because yes, at republicen.org, we, we talk a lot about the economics, but I, I, as a believer, like to talk about the morality of this, that, that really it is about loving God and loving people by taking care of this part of Eden that's left and uh, stewarding the creation. Um, and so I would expect that the Pope's uh, statements are going to be uh, poetic, like the, um, the uh, Pope's Scientific Society, which is an extremely poetic uh, statement about the role of humans and, uh, and their, their role as stewards. Well, Bob Inglis, uh, we know that uh, you made a special trip here to the Heartland just to be with us, and uh, we thank you very much for being here tonight. Thanks. Great to be with you, Eddie. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. And now, Phil, back to you. Thanks, Eddie.